how to create value in the lawn care business. There's an old saying about time. We all have 24 hours in a day, eight hours to sleep, eight hours for work, eight hours for practice or family relaxation, and so on. In the lawn care business during the summer, that is not a normal um, routine. It's more like a few hours for sleep, many hours for work, and a few hours, if any, for relaxation and family time. So how do you, if you're starting out a lawn care business, seeking to be competitive, not the low baller in your community, but you want to charge a higher price than the high school student down the road, the new guy that started a, his lawn care business across town or around the block. How do you find, how do you know what you should charge? Most people seek success, but you should seek your vision and as you accomplish your vision, you will become the master of your skill and your trade of the lawn care industry. And once you become known for what you do, people know what you do. The reason why you have a hard time charging a higher price than the low baller down the street or the high school student down the street is because people know you and know where you came from. If you just quit your job, they assume they can just charge you a low price. So how do you charge a higher price? I would start off by marketing outside your normal social circle. So if people know you as broke, poor, and destitute in spirit, or that you didn't have the highest paying job, then they have no reason to pay a high price when they come to you for the lawn care um, services that you provide. Once you market to the outside, uh, let's say the neighbor a few blocks away that does not know you, it is a better chance that you can offer a higher price because you're adding value that they see as worthwhile to them. The customer will put the price on the value of your service. Do you have um, the proper um, signage on your truck, on your trailer, if you get trailers? Um, do you have uniforms? Do you look professional? you carry yourself with confidence. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman in this business. I've met many people across the country who have carried themselves well. They know what they're doing. They know what they don't want to do. They know where they want to go. So with 24 hours in a day, we must add, we must, uh, be seen as more valuable than what the current prices that we can get from our current customers or people that perceive us as cheap. Your customers will see it. Sometimes they might you might ask for forty dollars on a lawn and the customer might give you an extra twenty because they know the service that you're providing costs more. Or you may have done a very good job. You may have done a better job than the last company before you, and they will give you a tip. They will give you extra based on the service you provided. So it boils down to value. How does a customer value your service? And how do you um, come across with confidence in knowing that you are valuable? It boils down to your vision, your success, 
don't depend on the time. L let's say uh, you got 16 hours in a work day, 10 hours in a work day, or 8 hours in a work day, depending on how you run your business. How do you perceive your value? Do you charge $40 a man hour, $60 a man hour, or $110 a man hour? Some companies, for example, for example, a plumber, uh, a plumbing company might come and bill you a $110 uh, trip charge before they even start work. Then, for a convenience fee, they might even charge you an extra 60 to $100 for just coming out on top of all of that for an emergency. Or they might just charge an extra 20 or 30 percent on top of their normal billing hours. So $110 an hour plus uh, extra 10 or 30 percent surcharge for after hours. Um, you get the idea. It's important to see the value of the um, how much you charge. Don't charge $20 a yard when you can get 40 and if it's same-day service, charge extra. It's a premium. You go to the uh, U.S. Postal Service and you want it next day, that's right. Next day is extra. Two days out is extra. Three days out is extra. Three days, it might get there. Uh, kind of service with the U.S. Postal Service. Same thing with uh, UPS, FedEx, and so on. So add the value create the value, be the, the guy that, that is known for doing a uh, premium service at a superior, um, I, I guess superior service at a premium price would be the correct way of saying it, and you have created the value that others will see in you. But by starting out, don't forget, most of us are known for what we were before we started the lawn care business. If you have a lot of knowledge, that right there might give you a better chance with the people that you already know, you already network with, so you can charge a higher price. And if you like these comments, these ideas, subscribe to the channel. And please, add value to your hourly wage versus a dollar a minute. Do two dollars a minute and see how you can become more successful on the lawn care business by adding value and being the value that you see and your customers see. Have a great day.